In this video, we're going to learn the entire workflow to recreate this viral trend using Clean 2.1 Start and End Frames. Part 1 Model Details and Prompts Used for this AI Workflow We're going to use Kling 2.1 Pro Image to Video Model. We're going to use images and also prompts additionally. So we're going to use image to video along with the prompt. Let's start with the prompt. Close up of a bathroom hand wash dispenser dispensing white colored hand wash on the human hand. The hand wash slowly morphs and transforms into a white tabby cat that playfully raises its paw into a V sign gesture. Feel free to make changes to the prompt based on your own use case. To achieve the viral effect, the cat dispenser, we need a start frame and an end frame. So the video is going to slowly transition from the start frame to the end frame, strongly guided by the prompt we have given. If you already do not have the start frame and the end frame, then you can use something like a nano banana or seed dream to generate the start frame and end frame and then use that in this workflow. As you can see here, the final output here is a very smooth transition between the start frame and the end frame where the dripping hand wash is slowly transforming into this cute little kitten that shows the V sign. Now let's learn how to do the exact same thing on the file user interface. We'll link the model link in the YouTube description. So once you click the model link, you will arrive at a page that looks like this. So the very first thing is you have to add the prompt, which you can copy from the YouTube description. Then you have to add the start frame and also the end frame. Once you're done with the start frame and end frame and the prompt, then you can just click run to generate the video. It will take a couple of minutes. Once it is done, you're going to see the final output here. Now let's do one final touch up. Let's add a sound effect to the same video. So the chance of it going viral on social media is high because you have got both video and audio synchronized very well. So FAL has made it extremely easy for you to add the sound effect. All you have to do is click the add sound button and then it will directly take you to the model page and then all you have to do is run. Once you do that, then you're going to have two video clips where you're going to have video with audio and then whichever you like, you can just download it and share it on social media. To quickly recap the video, we learned a new AI workflow using Kling 2.1 start and end frame. We also learned how to add sound effects to the video. And if you enjoyed this AI workflow, let us know in the comment section, what is the workflow that you would like to see next time and make sure to subscribe to the channel to learn more generative media tutorials.